Hi there. Welcome to our Exam AZ-900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Online Study Guide. This is Episode 3 of 63, and its title is Economies of Scale. My name is Tim Warner. I'm your instructor. Our objective today comes specifically in the AZ-900 exam outline under the headings Understand Cloud Concepts, Describe the Benefits and Considerations of Using Cloud Services, and Ultimately Understand the Principles of Economies of Scale. As you can see on the right, I've taken all of the objective domain for exam AZ-900. I've put it in an Excel worksheet. You can download that worksheet by pointing your web browser to timw.info forward slash AZ-900. What does economies of scale mean, and why do we need to understand this to earn our Microsoft Azure Fundamentals badge? Well, the idea of the economy of scale is that if a business can purchase in bulk, that is, in large quantity, you generally get a significant discount for doing so. Think of Microsoft and think of how many hardware servers they purchase to stock all of their Azure data centers around the world. Think of that same bulk purchase for network and storage and associated other hardware, racks, uninterruptible power supplies, switches, routers. Here in the United States, we have a couple big box stores. There's Costco and there's Sam's Club. Same idea. They're able to buy product at such huge quantity. They're able to pass the savings on to you as a customer. So the customer wins because they receive a product at a reduced rate because the vendor themselves have received such a discount by their purchasing wholesale in such large scale. Now let's pop out into a demo and I'll illustrate this for you, focusing on Azure specifically. Here we are in the Azure portal at portal.azure.com, and I'm going to open the global search and look for free tier. And this will bring us to a blade called free services. To illustrate the concept of economies of scale, when you create your Microsoft Azure free account, you get $200 USD or the equivalent to spend on any service over the course of 30 days. And as you can see here, there are other services in Azure that are free for 12 months. Beyond that, there's actually a subset of services that are called always free services right here. Now, you can't expect that you're going to get the top tier of everything <laughs> at the free level. In fact, Microsoft, in their documentation, they let you know explicitly that the free tier and the free account are meant for evaluation, not for you running business-critical production services. But yet again, I'm just coming back to the fact that this economy of scale, Microsoft having purchased at great discount so much hardware and software, and they make a lot of the software themselves, as you know. Think of Microsoft Windows and the Microsoft Office product family particularly that they're able to turn that around and give us this free tier. And there's other ways to purchase services in Azure where you as a customer can benefit from a discount that originates in an economy of scale. Another idea is when you're deploying specific resources. For example, if we go to the Virtual Machines Blade, and if I click Add, one of the first options as you're deploying is whether or not you want to do a spot instance. As you can see from the tooltip help, Azure Spot offers unused Azure capacity at a discount rate as opposed to what you do with pay-as-you-go consumption-based pricing. So you can start a virtual machine that maybe runs a lower priority task or a stateless task, that is a task that can easily be picked up and resumed with another virtual machine by creating a VM as a spot instance. Now in that case, you're getting a deep discount and taking advantage of the economy of scale that Microsoft has. But with Spot, your VM can be evicted or claimed back, reclaimed by Microsoft, if in that data center, Microsoft needs to give that compute power to another paying customer. You see what I mean? So there's lots of these opportunities to take advantage of the great economy of scale available in the Microsoft Azure ecosystem. For our learning resources, first of all, there's the Economies of Scale article in Microsoft Learn in their Microsoft Azure Fundamentals Learning Path. That's at timw.info forward slash EOS. You can learn more about the Microsoft Azure free tier by pointing your browser to timw.info forward slash free. Thanks a lot for spending time with me. You can reach me at Twitter at Tech Trainer Tim. You can see my plural site courses at timw.info forward slash ps. And my website is techtrainertim.com. See you in the next episode. Take care.